that's it as a thumbnail size it's about these heart health shine symptoms and treatments so i'll be reading via the website webmd.com slash heart disease which i'll be linking down in the description box so the first things first i'd like to apologize for the orientation of the video because this is the only uh, way i can be able to read all the information so let's start so there are many types of heart diseases each one has its own symptom and treatment sometimes lifestyle changes medicine can make a huge difference for others we need surgery to make your thicker which is another form another word for heart work well again let's find out more about the common types of heart diseases and ways to prevent them so we know that the heart is the one that pumps the blood for our body the one of these uh, common ones is the cat or coronary artery disease where you get blockage to your coronary arteries the vessels that supply blood to your heart that would can lead to a decrease in the flow of blood to your heart muscles keeping it from getting the oxygen it needs and okay? this issue usually starts as a result of a condition sometimes called hardening of your arteries yeah? or arteriosclerosis cat can give you pain in your chest called angina or lead to a heart attack okay and the Things that may put you at higher risk for CAD are the age. For the men, it's the, the risk of CAD goes up to about 55. For women, the risk is, is about after menopause. If you're inactive, having diabetes or metabolic syndrome, family history, or, or coronary heart disease, genetics, high blood pressure, high levels of LDL or the bad cholesterol, or low levels of HDL, the good cholesterol, obesity, smoking, and stress. Different types that's the coronary artery disease showing the blockage heart arrhythmia is basically the irregular beating of our heart right there heart failure your heart doesn't pump blood as well as it should to meet your body's need it's usually caused by a coronary artery disease but it can also happen if you have thyroid high blood pressure or muscle this uh, disease called cardiomyopathy Heart valve disease. Has, our heart has four valves that open and close to direct blood flow between our heart and our four chambers to the lungs and blood vessels. The abnormality could make it hard for the valve to open and close right away. When it's happening, your blood flow could be blocked and can leak. Your valve may not open and close right. The causes of heart valve problems include such as rheumatic fever, congenital heart disease, high blood pressure, CAD, or as a result of a heart attack right there that's the different valves of our heart a pulmonary adiatic atrial okay another disease called endocarditis it's basically the infection an infection caused by a bacteria rheumatic rheumatic fever rheumatic fever the condition develops when your heart muscles and valves are damaged by rheumatic fever which leads to strep throat or scarlet fever rheumatic heart disease was more common in the 20th century but doctors are not able to prevent it using antibiotics okay. pericardial disease which is basically the muscles uh, the sac that surrounds our heart it's another common one cardiomyopathy again the, the heart muscles is a disease of a heart muscle or myocardium it gets stretched thickened or stiff okay. so here there's sometimes people that take chemotherapy that develop cardiomyopathy disease congenital heart diseases these are the um, disease that happens while you're still being developed in the womb okay these two problems after after birth but sometimes there aren't any symptoms until you become an adult septal abnormalities are more most common congenital heart disease these are holes in the wall that separates the left and right side of your heart okay you can get the procedure done to patch the holes or surgery um, other types of abnormalities called the pulmonary stenosis and narrow valve causes cause a decrease in the blood flow to your lungs. A procedure or surgery can open the, the, the valve. Okay, and then next, in babies, small blood vessels known as ductus atriatus doesn't close at birth as it should. When it happens, some, some blood leak could back into the pulmonary artery, which puts strain to your heart. Doctors can treat this with surgery or procedure sometimes medication okay so these are the different um, types of heart diseases and also the 
for mastidosis this is sometimes called the blue babies because like you can't breathe they're in blue and purple okay? so those are the different heart diseases and i will see you on the next um the second part second half of this video and i tell you as to why i've selected this topic so thanks for watching and i will see you in a bit to the little life story thank you to all of my friends for being there for me i am grateful for all of you and thank you for watching that small little clip about the preview of the premiere of our heart health so this premiere will be a little bit more of a story it pertains to the heart health and thank you for watching that very first half of the video of the different types of heart diseases symptoms treatments so on this particular one you will get to know more about INS I have created two separate vlogs about little tidbits of information about me but this one you get to know me a little bit more on a personal level and why I selected the topic of how would you want to be remembered INS was born with what they call an arterial septal defect one of my arteries did not develop hence I am susceptible to every known heart failures mentioned on the first part of the video as a child I suffered what they call a pulmonary stenosis my pulmonary valve was constricted so therefore I'm not getting the blood flow causing me to unable to breathe and unable to enjoy the simplest thing the children enjoy like running around playing and I spent a good part of my childhood limited to not being able to do the simplest physical activity I remember when I was in elementary I went on a track and field and I couldn't even get one-fourth of the track I was gasping for air couldn't breathe and I remember when I was about 11 or 12 we went to have a heart checkup doctor said I need a heart transplant how do you expect a 12 year old kid to comprehend that she may not live to see her 13th her 14th her 15th her 16th birthday of course, we couldn't afford it. I'm surprised to say nothing was really done. So I spent pretty much my childhood unable to breathe. I've endured so many tests, ECGs, one after the other. I've been hooked up to heart monitors and every time I feel a slight of indigestion or what they call heartburn I, I panic thinking I'm having a heart attack and of course here in the Philippines we, we have to know the, the different symptoms, of course, of a heart attack, of heart warnings, of the different heart problems. It's not cheap here in the Philippines. I mean, 
to have a procedure like a cardiac catheterization alone to close that pulmonary valve. It's the cost of a house and lot. So my family did the hardest thing ever. I had to be sent away. And this is where Canada comes in. Remember we went to Sky Dome watching a baseball game. And we had to climb up the stairs to get to our nosebleed seats. Way high up. They have an elevator, but of course this only meant for PW or people with disability. Ironic, the phrase nosebleed is also here in the Philippines. For people that say they speak in English, they're nosebleed. I know it's a Philippine jargon. So yes, I had to lose my breath, unable to breathe before they can finally allow me to use the elevators. I felt like I had a herd of elephant sitting on my chest. And having an arterial septal defect is no fun. So I had my procedure where they put something called an oculator inside my heart where the layman's term is an umbrella and I remember joking with the doctors and nurses in the operating table saying that at least my heart will be dry when it rains because I have an umbrella and then they knocked me out I woke up hours later in the recovery room while they do operating on my pulmonary valve. I had a surgery, the, the catheterization, in one of the hospitals in Toronto where they imp implanted the, the umbrella to open up the valve. I had it done in a hospital called Sick Kids and years later when I turned 18, 19, all of my heart checkup is done at Toronto Gen. The feeling that your heart is on fire, is going to burst. You're born with a part of your heart, the pulmonary stenosis, where your heart didn't quite develop as it should. And then I have to basically try not to get too stressed or too anxious or to because I get chest pains. And I can do running now somewhat. <laughs> I don't lose my breath. And that is why I perhaps selected that topic because I don't know when my heart will give in. To be born with a heart that did not quite develop, it sucks, but to be examined by so many different doctors and hospitals, I'd rather be born with an incomplete heart than be born blind, deaf, unable to hear or see. All of my friends, all of my family, all of your blogs. So just enjoy what you have. I may not have everything I need or I want. I may not have 1,000 members, 1,000 thumbs up, or 1,000 or 1K view, 1K or 1 million views. But I'm thankful for what I have been given. That 
It's the second lease in life. I've been given internet to be able to have access to all of you. I live in a home made of stone. Most people live in shanties or squatters. I eat three square meals a day. Most people eat none. So just be thankful for what we have been given, I have been given. Because we don't know on who out there has a heart problem, but they cannot afford to have it fixed. My heart may not have developed as healthy as yours or anyone else. But it allowed me to appreciate there's more to life than just the physical. So remember, if a healthy heart can handle life's challenges, what more? If your heart is damaged. Thanks for watching and have a great 